There goes the family, right? Right there. <sighs> Wife and daughter followed me up. Had us a little picnic right there. I'm heading up alone. Got my polk. <sighs> Got another couple miles, by two and a half, three miles ago. It's about 1.30, sundown's at five, so I gotta get moving. Well, it's currently 10.29. Uh, I didn't get to my camp where I wanted to camp until about 5 o'clock. It took me an hour to get the tent set up because I, uh, where I just had to camp was full of loose powder so I couldn't get a snow anchor to work right. So I had to dig down to the dirt, try to anchor it to the ground. And uh, then I said about getting everything in here I needed and uh, I ate dinner. Temperature dropped fast. I think overnight low is supposed to be about 10 degrees. I get a thermometer. It might even be colder, I don't know. Uh, condensation in the tent, but I don't care because it's frozen. I couldn't take any. I saw a whole herd of a couple of herds of deer. I probably saw 20 deer on my way up. I couldn't take any video of them because I got water in between my phone and its case, and I couldn't press the record button because it, that was where the water was, and it just wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't press. So once I got camp set up, I got inside my sleeping bag, and then I took my phone apart to clean it. So I can record now. <sighs> well, it's about 15 minutes after seven. I had another snow come in while I was out here cooking. I was gonna make a fire, but there's so much snow coming down that um, I just decided to make, go ahead and eat and make some coffee. I just sloughed the snow off my tent. Ugh. Uh, I couldn't get the thing staked down very good. It's just not as taut as it should be. And it really, you know, I don't know. I don't know about that tent. There are things I like about it and things I don't like about it. I might get talk more about that later. Uh, I was warm last night. I think it was... I'm going to guess... Well, the weather forecast was 10 degrees. I don't have a thermometer with me. I can't see the mountains. I'm going to... I don't know. I think I'm about three miles in. Uh, just off at this closed road junction. I know this area before. Seemed like a good area to set up a camp. I was thinking about going hunting, rabbit hunting. I've been thinking about you, honey, and I miss the kids, but I guess God wired me like this to feel at home underneath the moon, way up high and out to. Making myself one more pot of coffee. Hot. 
one more thing of coffee oh, before I go. Definitely a lot of heat transfer. Through my uh, mat, double on well, both my mats. <sighs> I'm gonna pack up the polk. I think I'm gonna walk around the corner, hide my gear out of sight, and just take me a little walk around. See if I see anything. If I don't, I'm just gonna go. But first things first, have some coffee ready. Priorities. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Ha <laughs> ha. seen any rabbit sign no tracks or scat or anything like that I've seen a ton of deer sign I have seen a ton of deer tracks everywhere I've probably seen about 20 deer on my way up yesterday <laughs> but I haven't seen any I didn't see any rabbit tracks yesterday and I don't see any today there's got to be something around here but it's a matter of is it worth the effort <laughs> I'm thinking I might just, just call this trip and uh, head back to town and uh, cheeseburger. Yeah, it's never lonely at the South too. Two. 